road missing. To that end, today I announced the United Nations will spearhead new action to ensure every person on Earth is protected by early warning systems within five years. Uh, and thanks for uh, Secretary Tsena for this uh, great announcement. I think that, that was uh, that was something very important for us and uh, together with the Egyptian presidency of, uh, of the forthcoming COP27, we are elaborating a proposal how to enhance the global early warning service uh, capacity worldwide. Early warning and early action save lives. And in a world of rising disasters in both frequency and intensity, early warnings and early action will save even more lives. The evidence is indisputable and the need is clear. So we all know to get ahead of climate change, uh, we must know, uh, we must predict, we must warn, and most importantly, we must act. The impacts of climate change, including both rapid onset and slow onset events, have already become a reality. Adaptation efforts need to be complemented by means of implementation. The work of WMO, as you've all heard, has been critical in informing policy and decision making across the world. We must do our part to end this madness. We must do our part to address the needs of those most vulnerable. We do agree it is a must that this country must have the early warning systems similar to other countries. And so in Jamaica, we are also establishing a number of early warning systems, um, looking at various hazards that, are, that impact us. And our strategy is to ensure that there is collaboration.